hi and welcome back to my channel so i have another vlog today it is actually fourth of july for us but when this is going up fourth of july will be over so i hope you all had a happy fourth we are not ready yet still getting things together but i am going to try to attempt some mickey waffles with a fourth of july kind of theme so i thought i'd at least a vlog for this portion and then Hopefully the next time I pick up the camera will be a little more put together. But um, Alani is currently just watching TV. She was doing a craft, but decided that she was over it. And honestly, I just want to be able to cook. So she is enjoying tots and I will enjoy having the kitchen to myself. If you've watched my vlogs before, you know that I swear by using the recipes on the Google Nest Hub Max, such a ridiculously long name. But this is the recipe that I'll be using today. Eleni, who's on the waffle? Mm -hmm. Who's on the waffle? Who is that? He's Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, you excited? This is my first time using this waffle maker. I've been wanting a Mickey waffle maker for a while. Evan found this one when we were at Home Goods, and we decided to go with it. Elani is attempting to sing into the unknown. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but. I love how clean it stays. So obviously I still have to wipe it down, but it was really good and I'm glad we found it. Since breakfast is all done, I figured we would go back to the craft that I had planned for Alani. So she had used dot markers and she just dotted them all over a piece of paper and I cut them out into little stars. And then I also cut out these just little tails so my idea is, well, I'll glue this part together and then she'll glue it onto the paper. I just like to take things that she's done and try to make them into something that I can save for later. I have a little binder. I'll be putting this in a plastic sleeve. So I have to find my glue because I was looking for it and I have no idea where it is. Stick them on the paper. I know, it's very interesting that it's sticky. You can put them on the paper. Good job. <laughs> We're gonna put them all at the top. Where's that one gonna go? That's so pretty. You did such a good oh, job. Man. All done, I love it. We are all done free play. She still loves this airplane toy, but she put all of her people over by the door. Alani is dressed. Alani, can I get a smile? Yeah, I know, but you have to face me. I can't see you. Can I get a smile? That's not a smile. <sighs> Alani is dressed. I'm still not dressed. Evan had to go to the store. So I'm letting her have a little bit of time to color on here while I get some food ready which means she'll probably just come into the kitchen with me because whenever I leave, she normally just follows me. Technology stuff doesn't really keep her busy for too long, which is fantastic. I told you it wouldn't keep her busy. Here we are already. So she's gonna help me. I'm making deviled eggs, but I'm gonna be putting them in my Instant Pot. I find that to be just the easiest way to hard boil them. So I need to hard boil the eggs with my helper and then from there i actually am going to be marinating the hot dogs because i want them to have time to sit before we put them on the grill i found a recipe and i'm just going to use the marinade from that but i normally don't marinate hot dogs i just thought it'd be fun to do something a little bit different i have turkey dogs because i don't eat beef or pork <laughs> do not worry this is not on nor is it plugged in but i don't know if i've talked about alani's kitchen stool which honestly i do need to clean but i talked about it in my blog post it is absolutely phenomenal i will make sure to link the post 
<laughs> You're so silly. I will make sure to link the post that I talk about it in. It just makes her helping in the kitchen so much easier. And I'll set her up here to color or do whatever she eats up here. It's just perfect. I'm gonna have her help me just pour the water into the Instant Pot and then I'll take over from there. Can we pour the water in? Good job, thank you for your help. Since it's just gonna be us, I'm only doing six eggs. I've poured in one cup of water. You honestly just have to make sure that they're not touching the sides and that they're not touching the water. And that's really simple. That's honestly all you need to do with the eggs in here. And make sure you have something like this for the eggs to sit on since they can't touch the water. I want these to be really done. So I'm gonna do manual and I want them to be for nine minutes. So the pressure's at high pressure and I'm gonna do manual for nine minutes. So I'll just put the lid on and that's all I have to do. And then just making sure that this is not on venting, we want it on sealing. All right, Alani, you gonna help me? <laughs> Leave it in there though. We're gonna try not to destroy your outfit. The eggs are done in the ice bath, so I'm gonna move on to marinating the hot dogs. There will be a post on my blog with all of the recipes listed, and I actually already have them on my Pinterest. If you're not following me over there, you can see all of them. Obviously, I'm gonna be doing 4th of July themed things, but a lot of these are still great recipes without incorporating certain things for 4th of July, or even if you wanna keep the red, white, and blue going. I already finished my hot dogs. These ones are the beef ones. So I'm gonna get these in the fridge and I will move on to the eggs. This is the reason that I love using the Instant Pot. It's quick, it's easy, and then they come out perfectly hard boiled. They're very easy to peel and the yolk is just perfect. I'm gonna go on to making the pink lemonade, which is really simple because it's just a cup of lemon juice, I think like four cups of water, a cup of sugar, which you can use less of, that's kind of just to taste, and then grenadine for the pink color. So I'll just put that all together and we'll have our pink lemonade. I just plan on throwing some blueberries and strawberries into it to make it look a little more festive. Normally if I was making pink lemonade, I would make it a little lighter, but because I'm going for red, white, and blue, I wanna make sure that it is a little darker. So I'm adding my blueberries and then I'll add the strawberries. I dyed the eggs just using regular food dye, vinegar, and water, so now I just have to fill them up. I finally had the opportunity to get dressed, so we are going to finally eat. Everything's done except the one dessert that I want to make, and Alani is clearly ready for food. So we have our hot dogs and turkey dogs. We have our popsicles, the punch, the deviled eggs, and the corn. And again, I have one more dessert that I wanna make, but we need to eat. And someone's excited for her popsicles. Again, all of these recipes are linked on my blog. Blog is in the description. Finally plated, so it is time to dig in. Yes, the hot dogs were already marinated. I had taken pictures for my blog. So I did put more on it and that definitely is not necessary. Other than our buffet area, I also decorated Alani's kitchen. I just wanted to add a few little touches that were red, white, and blue and a little silver, I guess. But I love the way it turned out, it's so cute. My goal is to do a lemon theme for the summer, but I haven't found the right things that I want. So far I've only found one thing and I'll go from there. 
but I love the way this turned out. It just will not be lasting for too long. All of the things I got, I got from Dollar Tree. These I always have up and this I have. I just added the star confetti, which I actually got from Target, but these were all from Dollar Tree and there's a plant that I just put into that little bucket. You ready to eat your popsicle? We made sure that her dress was off for the meal and also for this popsicle. Oh, yummy. So the top is strawberry and then the middle is vanilla Greek yogurt and the bottom is blueberry. Are your hands messy? <laughs> How's the popsicle? Popsicle. Yeah, is it good? After popsicles, Eleni went down for a nap a little bit later than she's used to going down, but it's the 4th of July and we are celebrating basically my birthday, so things are gonna be a little different. I don't know if I actually mentioned it on YouTube, but I did mention it on my Instagram. My birthday is the 6th, which is Monday. I normally don't go all out for the 4th of July, but I decided why not do a celebration for the 4th of July since we're not actually going out and seeing people or anything like that. So it's kind of the 4th of July celebration, but it's also my birthday celebration. I am actually gonna start dessert because there's one dessert that I wanted to make. Dinner's gonna be easy because it's just gonna be the leftovers from lunch. And then dessert will be the extra special thing that we have. Maybe I'll throw a candle in it. Maybe I'll save that for my actual birthday on Monday. Maybe I'll just do both. So I don't actually have a recipe for this. Evan and I have a bunch of these from Seasons 52 because when you order their dessert shooters, or at least it used to be this way, when we used to order their dessert shooters, they would come in these glasses, even if it was takeout. We've actually gotten rid of some of them, but I have some strawberries and blueberries, a store-bought pound cake, and then Cool Whip. So all I'm gonna do is layer them in these and just make our own dessert shooters. It's easy enough and it doesn't really require a recipe. It's kind of just how you want it to be. these cute little toppers so I'm going to just cut them and then put these in the dessert with a toothpick hi I feel like I have no footage of Alani in her actual dress or at least hardly any footage in her dress because Every time I'm recording her, she's eating. Um, she's not eating the hot dogs because she didn't like the hot, well, she didn't even try the hot dogs. So she's having chicken nuggets instead and we'll be warming up all of the leftovers. Are you stubborn? Huh? <laughs> That's fine. Oh, and I don't know if you see the sign over there. But I have that ready. We find out on Thursday what we're having, so I'm excited to be able to fill that out. Do you want dessert? It's got some whipped cream. Yeah. Is it yummy? Yummy. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> It was a successful 4th of July. How am I supposed to see? Everything turned out really good and it was just a really nice day even though it was just us. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Again, I'll have a blog post up with all of the recipes that I used today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And we will see you in the next one. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. Bye.